spooky babes and ghouls so it has been a while since I filmed a makeup tutorial or a video I've been posting kind of like old stuff or stuff that I filmed like in October or like two months ago so I finally got around to filming I kind of took a little break after Halloween because it was a lot like there between videos is a lot like editing well first of all filming um then editing um and editing writing typing out descriptions from and everything like it's it's quite a bit of work so yeah so I'm taking a break from that Halloween kind of broke me I didn't even get to dress up for Halloween so whatever no big deal you know it's always next year you know maybe i will do less videos maybe i'll start posting like it's september like what am i sitting stepping on anyway so i'm sorry <laughs> um i'll start posting probably like i'll start holding early like i'll start posting can i put po i do post a video like once a week so i think i'll post like starting in september like once a week i'll start posting i don't know i've been thinking about it cause i don't want to post every day because like i noticed that posting every day like not all my videos got a ton of views and you know, some that i really did love like the beetlejuice graphic liner that i did that one only got like 80 or 90 views so far, so I was kind of disappointed in that one because I really did love that one. But yeah, of course, I think posting every day, some of them did not get, I guess, like seen to other people, I guess. I don't know how to explain that, but whatever. So yeah, so I kind of want to do something kind of fallish. I did get some glitters in the mail from Black Mage Beauty. They are a brand that I am promoting for. And I want to show them on camera. I'm going to do a separate video after this where I'm going to be talking about them, showing all the glitters I currently have. Every single glitter that I have, I'm just going to be using like maybe like one or two today so yeah and also have some lip scrubs I will be using this makeup tutorial so I'm gonna scrub my lips make them soft and plump so yeah um so yeah so let's get started with this tutorial uh, let's get started with this tutorial okay so the shade I'm using first for transition is from Do uh, from Baby Bad Beauty it is called Doomsday I would say from Doomsday but okay but yeah it's called Doomsday from Baby Bad Beauty and it's a pretty like mustard yellowish kinda and I really do love it. I like to use it especially as a transition shade. It can also work by itself. It's really pigmented and it's beautiful. It's like one of my favorite eyeshadows that they sent me in the past. Yeah, so I'm going to be blending it all over my eyelid. Okay, so next we're gonna be using the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette, and I'm gonna be using the shade Martyr, which is kind of like, which one is it? Oh, this one. It's it's a really pretty like burnt orange, and I love it. I'm just gonna get a small crease brush from Elf. This was like a dollar at Target, and I'm gonna be kind of doing the same thing. Blend, I'm gonna apply it onto my crease, like well, like above my crease, my natural crease, and blend it up. I'm gonna blend it out as much as I did with the first transition shade. Also, by the way, I did forget to mention that. I think I know I did mention I am promoting for Baby Bat Beauty and I do have a discount code for you guys. It's, it's Denise underscore Draven. Um, as always, my dis my affiliate and discount codes will be down below in the description. Um, and also, it also will have a link to the website, like the shop. And also be sure to follow the brands that I'm promoting for on Instagram. So yeah. <laughs> shade that I was using kind of like down to my nose and kind of contour just a slightly bit at the top also kind of like doing that with my eyeshadows I think it looks really cool and gives like a really cool effect to it so yeah um that's what I do that's my personal choice if you want to copy that that's cool too make sure you tag me on Instagram if you do do this look so yeah um so next we're gonna be using Baby Bat Beauty again and we're gonna be using the shade Blunderbuss which is like a beautiful copper brown orange orange brown sorry and I'm gonna get a little bit onto this brush, have it off because it's really pigmented. And we're gonna be tying it onto the crease, and we're kind of we're gonna kind of blend it out a little bit, not too much like how we did the previous age, but.
Okay, so next I'm be cutting the crease and you can use whatever kind of concealer that you want and consider your choice. And I'm also be using a concealer brush to cut it as well. I'm pretty sure most of y'all really know what a cut crease is. I mean, you'll see. You'll see how I do it. I don't know how to explain it, but you just... I, I don't know. The best way to explain it is cut the crease. You literally just cut the crease with your brush. So, yeah. <laughs> Satan's inner palette again and I'll be dipping in the shade double which is a really bright orange I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush from elf and I'm be playing it onto like where I cut the crease to kind of can I be applying glitter out through this like orange glitter so I kind of want the color I kind of want there to be like a color underneath so that way I don't put, like a lot of glitter so yeah that's so right because normally when I apply glitter I like to apply the same color of the glitter like if I'm gonna be applying like all of my crease then yeah I like to use like a shimmer shade underneath or the same color underneath or whatever so yeah I hope, I hope you guys kind of get that, so yeah. bag there but my mom found some but it's old so it's a little clumpy so hopefully this stuff will work I'm sure it will I hope <laughs> I'm just looking at it and I'm a little scared it should be fine so yeah so I'm gonna get it onto another concealer brush I have um you can make the same one it'll come off if you peel it off later on once it dries but I'm be using some old eyelash glue try to use something fresh something you know something that you have that you have that's good not like I don't know how many years old and next is a glitter part. So I'm gonna be doing a glitter crease, an orange glitter. And we're gonna be using glitters from Black Mage Beauty. I'm using pumpkin spice and pumpkin pie. First, I'm gonna be applying pumpkin pie, and then I'll probably be applying pumpkin spice. I haven't decided. I'm not sure if I'll apply it closer to the crease or all over the crease. I don't. I don't know. I might apply pumpkin spice like on the edges of the crease or all over. I haven't decided yet, honestly. But let's see. Let's hope this glue works. I need to buy like a glitter glue. I know Baby About Beauty has one, so I should definitely try to use that. I'll try to buy it soon. So yeah. all over my floor <laughs> it's not like a lot but I can see it the shining on the floor and it's coming all over my face too but when I'm not the cleanest person when it comes to glitter and why are they vacuuming right now and I know I'm filming oh well but um I added a little more brown eyeshadow like darker brown eyeshadow to decide to make the crease look more uh too I thought that word is to kind of show the crease but more whatever it was a little too light especially with the glitter and I tried playing on this side but it's a little messily blended because I'm trying to avoid the glitter, so yeah, so that's why this eye is probably gonna look worse than the left eye, so whatever. I'm gonna add a little more before I add glitter to this eye, but anyway, so we're gonna move on to the next glitter. I might, I think I'm gonna apply this one closer to the crease and in the inner corners, and this one is Pumpkin Spice and Baby, from, Baby, from Black Mage Beauty, my bad. I'm getting all my brands mixed up now, but yeah, this one's a more chunkier glitter, it's orange. I think Pumpkin Spice and Pumpkin Pie go great together, as y'all can see. Let me let the camera focus on that. It's really, really beautiful. It's chunkier than the one I just used. So I think it'd be perfect to go like along the crease a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna lay my whole crease. I haven't decided yet. I, I'll decide whenever I'm doing it. So that my no, I don't know. Um, where did my concealer brush go? Okay, right. Um, 
But yeah, so we're gonna, hopefully this one's not as messy as the other one. Glitter's really messy. Well, at least I'm very messy with glitter. But whatever. It looks cool though. I, it's really beautiful though. Like, I really do love it. I like it. It's really pretty. I just need to clean it up after I'm done. <laughs> it, it made a mess. I'm just gonna glitter all over my bed later tonight. I know it. It's, it's gonna get on my feet and I'm gonna drag it to my bed. But oh well. So yeah, so next, I'm gonna find the neck glitter. And I guess I'll be it, then I'll, of course, I'll do it on this eye. I'll probably fix the eyeshadow on this eye before I apply glitter on, make the crease darker, so yeah. Um, also, word of advice, probably do it before doing foundation so that way you can get tape and just kind of put tape in your face and, you know, take off the glitter because, like, it will fall out onto your face. I didn't think about that. Honestly, I forgot. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, probably should do the eye. If you're doing glitter, probably do the foundation before doing your eyes. So, yeah. But, whatever. I brushed most of it off. It's still a little bit here in the corners of my eyes. I'll try to get it off. Maybe I'll put, like, a little bit of tape. I don't know. I'll just leave it. It's fine. Um, but, yeah. So, we're... Anyway, so we're going to be applying eyeshadow. I'm be doing the same color combo that I did up here. I'm going to start with Doomsday, which is yellow for Maybe Beauty, and I'm going to be using the orange. I might use a little bit of the brown soon. Blender Bust for Maybe Beauty, so. We're going to be doing that really quick. I'm doing the other, the under eye. I'm not going to blend out too much out to the wing. I think I want to leave the wing a little bit clean. I don't know, I kind of want to clean it up. Actually, well, let's kind of clean it here. I might clean up this wing and conceal it a little bit. I don't want to get too close to the glitter. I kind of want to, like, ruin it, so yeah. Uh, I might do that later though, so yeah. lashes and I put some eyeliner on my waterline and honestly the lashes did not want to stick. I'm not sure who it was because the eyelash glue I was using but I did find a Halloween one and that one kind of worked okay but I think my eyes are watering more so it wasn't sticking on or also maybe it wasn't sticking on so good or that well. I don't know. So my lashes start falling off, kind of start slipping off while I'm talking. That's why. I can't really do anything about it honestly. I need to go buy new. I mean I have, I have eyelash glue which is I don't have it with me. I'll just buy another one. Oh, it's only like it's coming off. Like no matter like how long I hold it on, it just keeps slipping off. And then like the glitter like in that little corner is like coming off too. Like it all came off. It's all gone. So I don't know what to do anymore to be honest. I'm like ugh, I'm so done. But whatever. Better not my makeup is good, the island is good. I mean the glitter. Um but yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna leave that alone. I'll just take some pictures of it before it gets ruined, falls off. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, so next we're going to be scrubbing my lips. Um, I'm using the Caramel Cinnabon Lip Scrub from Black Mage Beauty. Um, they also have the Pumpkin Spice Lip Scrub as well. At least they had it for the Halloween bundle. They have a lot of other amazing lip scrubs right now. Like, I, have, I personally haven't tried them yet, but they look so good. I think there's like a cherry one, I think. And there's some other flavors that I like as well. And these ones taste good, okay? Like, I, I'm not going to lie. I'll eat out to, like, I'll be my scrub my lips and I'll take a little dip and, put, you know, eat it. It's super good, yeah. So I'm gonna be doing that right now. I'm gonna do it like off camera and then I'm gonna apply some lip balm onto my lips and then some lipstick. Okay, so my lips are pretty much scrubbed and I put scrubbed and I put lip balm on them so they're plump and moisturizer now, as y'all can tell. Um, I use the Baby Bat Beauty Cinnamon Bean Lip Balm. I have talked about this in one video where I where I did the where I shopped the little bat palette and stuff. But I love this lip this lip balm, like it is awesome. My lips don't they kind of plump up a little bit, not too much. If you use the lip scrub and then this, it's like perfect. It's awesome. It's also, this awesome moisturizes my lips like crazy, and I love it. Especially with all this cold weather going around, my lips have been crazy chapped. But when, but when I use this, they get they feel so much better. 
So yeah, so I definitely recommend the lip balm, especially that cinnamon vegan lip balm. Like, I think everything they have is vegan, so... But they have a bunch of different, like, lip balm flavors that, are, that look pretty good. I want to try some more. I definitely want to order another cinnamon one, so yeah. But anyways, next I'm applying Lime Crying Squash onto my lips. I feel like it might be too much orange. Like, I was thinking about playing brown, but I haven't used lipstick in a while. So yeah, I'm just applying this one onto my lips. <laughs> 